Who it was the real Mozart? Certainly this is, but how close does the film Amadeus come to a truthful portrayal of Mozart's story? The film begins with a rumor, that is, Salieri was the one who poisoned Mozart. However, through research it's more likely they died from an attack of rheumatic fever than an envious co-worker. The film is misleading. Salieri never plays such a large role in Mozart's life, and he certainly never helped him finish his actual Requiem Mass. The Mass, obviously, wasn't contracted by Salieri in an attempt to drive Mozart mad, but by a different man, grieving the loss of his wife. A second relationship that gets slightly skewed is Mozart and his father's. Although Mozart did look to his father for guidance, they had begun to lose contact as Mozart began his rise in Vienna. Although Mozart certainly was described as childish and immature, he did show more grace in the presence of nobles. Coincidentally, the ridiculous laugh is also fabricated by the writers of the movie. If one thing was done right, it was the setting of the moon in Vienna through the frilly and often excessively ornate Rococo style. Then the belief or enlightened thought of the time was portrayed through Mozart's constant desire to step away from tradition and create something new. Although it has many historical shortcomings, the type of patronage system Mozart would have worked under is recreated effectively, working for anyone who would have hired him. So, what's the real story? How historically accurate can any film be if its entire premise is based off of a rumor? Although the story is entertaining, it remains just that, a story. So remember to get the real story and not believe everything you see on the screen.